to my channel. My name is Alexis, if it's your first time here. This is a terrible angle, but I literally just broke my car mount this morning, which I mean, lovely, okay? I'm on my way to um, my Pilates class this morning. It's early, y'all, it's early, and I'm already running late because I'm trying to fix this camera. The other day, like last week, I dropped my camera in something that I was cooking, and I just feel like low-key it ain't been the same since, but you know what? It's the work. Tomorrow, today's Thursday, today I'm at work. Tomorrow, I have to just like volunteer thing for work, and then I have to run a ton of errands because I think I told y'all in the last vlog that I'm doing a Mother's Day dinner for my mother and the other mothers that I am other mothers that I know, you know, and I wanted to make this like a thing, um, so we're having like a, a this, I want to I say, a, I want to say a big dinner, but it is kind of a big dinner, because small dinner to me would just be my like immediate family, but this is like outside of that, friends and family, so yeah, I'm super excited about that, because like I said, you know, the Kardashians always throwing a party for everything. Like, I want to start celebrating the times in our lives that, you know, people never get back, you know? And I think that's more important than doing a gift. It's, um, it's something you will always remember, you know? Like wedding days and all these other days that are important. So that's what we're going to do. But that just means Saturday is going to be stupid busy for me. Hi, good morning. So, ooh, this is a rough way to start off, but... You know, gotta do what you gotta do. It's about 4 15 in the morning, and I've been up for like a few hours. I took my little wig off because I needed to wash it for today because I have uh, um, this big event that I've been kind of like telling you all about the Mother's Day event I've been telling you all about. It's happening today, and I gotta, um, it's gonna be a busy day, you know. So I thought I get up this morning, I got. I went to sleep pretty early last night. I was exhausted. So I went to sleep pretty early last night, trying to gather myself, you know, get my energy together. And then, you know, woke up this morning. It was like, I should get started early because I know it's going to be crazy. Anyway, so yeah, I'm about to wash my hair really quick, dry it, write it back down, um, just kind of get it ready for later today because. I feel like after I go to my workout class um, at 8, it's going to be like boom, 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 boom from there. And so I'm just kind of like trying to gather myself and make sure that I'm getting myself together and not looking crazy this afternoon. And then also helping to prepare for this, you know. So yesterday was kind of great because I went and I got all of the flowers that are going to go on the tables today, which I'll show you later today. I was so exhausted yesterday. I had to end up going to kids meals and volunteering, which was really great. Um, if you've never volunteered at kids meals, um, actually with my job, it's really actually, it's, it's, it's fun. It's one of the more easier volunteers because they had us like putting like juices and like crackers and juices and like trail mix inside of like snack bags, inside of the paper bags and roll them up and put them in this large box. And so, you know, when you do it with, you know, four people at your table, it goes fast, and it's actually very interesting, so if you're in Houston, I'm sure they have them all around the U.S., um, if you've never volunteered at Kids Mills, and you need some volunteer hours, or you just want to get back, you definitely volunteer at Kids Mills, because you'll actually like this volunteer, when I volunteered at the food bank, it was just really messy, and it was just like, oh, you know, um, I'm ready to go, my hands are nasty, like, my gloves are nasty, like, ugh. but at Kids Mills, it's like very clean, and it was just a really, really good class. Anyway, so yeah, after that, I went to Zara to return something, and I was literally in and out in that thing because the mall was, of course, ridiculous. But then I went to go get the flowers, which every time I buy flowers, I just wish they lasted longer than they actually like do because they are so beautiful. Like, I picked up some hydrangeas, and I picked up. Oh, let me show y'all. Come on, let's go. Be quiet because my family is sleeping, but. I'm gonna show y'all. Oh, I look crazy. I gotta wash this hair after I do this. Yeah, so look how beautiful they were. I didn't want to talk in there because 
Um, Mike's actually in there. We're going to sleep, and so he slept in the living room last night. And that's just something we do, so he's still on the couch sleeping, and my dog is sleeping. I don't want to wake them up, so I am going to. I just want to be quiet in there, but they're so beautiful. So, yeah, today is going to be great. I'm going to be exhausted. I need to. I wasn't going to get my nails done, but this is. They looking kind of raggedy in here. I hate when they look like this and so i might after my class go try to get them run and get them done real quick just like a quick little refill and then i have to do michael's mother's hair at like 10 o'clock today um 10 30 so i have to like get back to this house because she wants like one of those ponies this is the finished product well it's like the finished product but it's not right because I still need to like do this part of my hair, but I have to go work out and I don't want to put heat on my hair before I don't work out a normal sweat. So I'm just going to put a baseball cap on and let this hair dry um, throughout the day um, and stuff. And then, um, yeah, then later tonight, once it dries, then I'll be good to go with, you know, flat ironing it and everything like that. One thing I am trying to think if I want to do is this wig is just a tad bit thin and I feel like I want to add like two or three pieces in here. So like it's a little bit thin in my hair. I love it. Love the cut. This is the cut I'm be wearing pretty much all summer um at this point. But I just want um it to be a little bit fuller. So I'm gonna do a little something good off. Because <laughs> I didn't pay a lot for this wig, so I'm not going to go and spend a crazy amount of money. I had a bundle for this, but I thought that I wasn't going to use it, so I returned it back to Amazon. So now I think I really feel like I need it because it's wet right now, and I love this look. And I would love to do a look like this one day, but with my hair straight. But again, it's a little bit too thin. So I think I'm going to go to the beauty supply today. I don't know how I'm going to fit that in my day and get like one bundle. You know they be selling bundles at, nowadays at the beauty supply. So I think I'm going to go and get a bundle and then just add it to this. Add a couple tracks in this. Good thing is I didn't sew this down yet. It's a B part wig. I didn't sew it down. So I can just pop it off and put it on like my little headstand thing. Sew the things out and then be done. And then put pop it right back on. Like I said, I think it only needs like two or three rows in it and then it'll just be perfect and then I can it's so short I can go in and easily cut this to the length you know only problem that I might run into is that that hair may be a different color than this hair but I have a box of dyes so it wouldn't take me long to like quickly dye it like <laughs> hopefully this is not sounding like a big project if I mean I just want it to be a little bit fuller in this area because my head is big and so being hair on me doesn't look like, you know, appealing to somebody of my big head. Now, if it's a little bit thicker, then my bob will just come down really well. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do later today when after I leave, I guess, the nail shop. They don't have a beauty supply over there, but they do have one here by my house, so I'll just have to do that. Anyways, for now, we'll just be wearing baseball caps, so you won't see how... It looks, but I've done the bulk of the work I needed to do today. You can't even send peace. Cause all of these niggas be on you. I'm just saying I can be. Yeah. The one that you call and you talk to me, little girl. Hey y'all, so it's a little bit later. I have finally finished setting up the um, room and now we're about to actually head out um, to the actual dinner. Um, literally rushed to get dressed, but you know, we're looking good tonight. Let me show you what I have on. Oh, so I have this blazer on from Zar. It's a white blazer that I found like a couple of years back that I've been super obsessed with. I have my Zara pants on that I picked up on a sale, one of their sales they had. This crop top from Pretty Little Things. These shoes are Christian Louboutin and the bag, um, what is it, Bottega. So yeah, I did a little bit of neutral, but mostly like whites and pinks because those are the colors for tonight. So yeah, we're about to get ready and head out. Just wanted to say, by the time I come back, my mom will be proposed to, and she hopefully she'll say yes. <laughs> anyway, let's go.
Well, I have a little story. Because <laughs> about a month ago, someone contacted me and my sister and asked for one of the greatest things. He asked for our permission on something. And me and my sister said yes and gave our blessing. So, Kenneth, I'll leave it up to you. First of all, I'd like to say Happy Mother's Day to the mothers that made it possible for us to be here. To the mothers that are here and the mothers to come. Uh, I want to talk about this mother. I had the pleasure of meeting this mother 40 years ago when we got away from each other. We, as time went by, we said hello and went on our separate lives. Uh, more time went by, we became friends. I got the courage to ask her to be my friend outside the box. <laughs> <laughs> she, she accepted, and uh, we started dating. And I fell in love. So the feeling was mutual. So she introduced me to her family. And uh, what I learned is she would do it raising these two beautiful ladies. I was impressed. Uh, they embraced me. They showed me love. And the hospitality, of course. It was beautiful. So uh, I knew I wanted to be here. Uh, let me see. Yolanda. Yeah. <laughs>